Hey guys, it's Dustin Bogle here with Jim Reinforcements, and I am joined by uh, one of my clients and also just a good friend in the fitness industry, a uh, fellow gym owner. Um, I am joined by the man coming from the Northeast, Kwon Su Kim with Massapeka FBBC. Kwon Su, thank you for jumping on here with me, man. I appreciate it. Dude, I'm the one who's thankful. I really am. Well, I hey, that's that. what we're going to talk about is what... Uh, this service has been doing for you at, at your gym and how it's helped you free up time. So um, that's what we're here to talk about. So let's just jump right into it, man. Um, you know, we do follow up with your leads, whether it's new leads that are coming in off ads, your prospect list you've built up, past members. But just to kind of jump into who was doing it in the past, um, who was owning that previously to GR? Was it, you know, an admin? Was it you? Who was doing your lead follow up? Okay, well, it's a bit of an evolution, you know. Um, in the beginning, before I even opened, you know, I was advertising and my lead follow-up was just me. You know, I just used my CRM. I would just text them. Um, they respond. Um, and then when I finally opened, um, I was the one doing lead follow-up. And, you know, I got to be honest, you know, as, 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 a, as a leader and an owner here, uh, you know, in the beginning, you have to wear a lot of hats and you have to do a lot of things. Mm. Um, the lead follow-up wasn't all that necessary during Corona, or during, you know, quarantine, because really, <laughs> who was looking to try to join the gym? No one, right? But as soon as we opened back up for, say, outdoor uh, boot camp, then I started advertising again. And, and, and the person who did the lead follow-up was me. And I got super, I got super intentional and I, and I, and I did really well myself. Right. And then, uh, when we were fully op uh, allowed to open again in, in September of 2020, um, I realized that I could not handle it, you know, cause we were growing, um, the amount of work it takes to run a gym, you know, uh, the owner of the gym should not be doing lead follow-up. It's just, it's the work of salespeople, administrative assistants. As you know, the owner is, is, is a visionary and they're supposed to be spending their time figuring out ways to drive the business to profitability, yeah. you know, and, and make it, you know, and just taking it to the next level. So I was spending way too much time on lead follow-up. And then as I was advertising, what I realized that, I wasn't spending enough time on lead follow-up and it just, the leads would just kind of pile up and pile up and I just couldn't get to them. And before you know, it was like three weeks would go by and I'd have like a hundred leads just sitting there, not even being talked to or, or, or followed up on. And I've heard that, um, man, that, you know, some gym owners, they just put somebody in that seat, whether it's a coach an admin or themselves, and they feel good that they can check that box. Like, Oh yeah, this person owns follow-up. But like to allude to what you said is like, how good of a job are they doing? How many, how many hours are they really devoting to it? How many people are they really getting to purchase and to come in? And when they're juggling a lot of different other work, it's usually probably not being done to the level that it could be as if it was one person's single role. Like this is all I do is sell trials, you know? Yeah. Well, my first experience having somebody else do it was not very good. I had a, a coach who took on the responsibility because she said she wanted it and she loves this type of thing. I came to the realization that at, over time that it was not being done well, regardless of what this coach said, it, it was not done to the extent and, and to the, um, um, the efficiency that was explained to me, it would be done. Yes. So eventually, and, and the fact is there were times when it wasn't done at all. Okay. And this is my own team member, you know? Um, and I realized I need to take that person off. Um, but then I, it put me back in the seat too, in the hot seat again. And it's not something I wanted to do because I have other things that I, I need to concentrate on as an owner, as a leader. That's not what I need to concentrate on. Yeah. So early this past year, I hired another, I, uh, you know, I had an advertising uh, Facebook marketing team that I hired they offered a service where they would do the follow-up too, but, um, and they did a good job. You know, we, we 
we've got uh, plenty of uh, people into the studio. And I charged them, uh, you know, that the way they worked, it was a scheduled appointment. Um, and um, if the appointment showed up, then my lead follow-up service would get a certain amount of money per show, right? Um, and that was fine. And it was on me to uh, give the, the prospect a good experience and close them on the spot, right? And it worked. Um, but it was also more work for me again um, because I, and, and on top of having to follow up and make sure they were going to show up and then following up again, if they didn't show up, it, it, it still was more work than I um, wanted. Um, and then I believe we, you and I um, um, started, we were, I started working with you, when was it? Um, early summer, was it? Yeah, Something it was like early 2021. Yeah. So I can tell you, that, <clears throat> I can tell you that early this year, through the spring and the summertime since I've been working with you, I've literally, from the spring through the summer, not just up to summer, because summer is typically a dead period. It slows down. But I actually accelerated from spring through the summertime. And I doubled my memberships, right? Nice. Doubled my memberships, right? And a couple of things about um, that I found really beneficial is the lead follow-up, the scheduling of the appointments, and the closing of the appointments. Now, I... In the beginning, I was kind of like, I was still hands-on. And I was like, why am I doing this? Dustin's team already, Dustin's team already does it. Why am I, because I'm in that mind frame of, uh, I, I can't let things go, I, I guess. Yeah. So I, was, I was trying to stay on top of it. But then I was like, okay, well, I guess Dustin's team really does have this. And, and so I just kind of sat back and let it go. And, you know, and the, and the fee that I had to pay was marginally more and the value I got was just so much more, you know, so much more than what I had received with the previous, comp previous company, what I, which I have no problem with. The previous company did a good job, but I was getting so much more value um, with the incremental fee I was paying, you know, so. And, and it, it came it, in sales, but also in freedom of time. And that was going to be one of the questions I want to ask you, Quan, is like, what are you doing now with that time? Because you you are having your follow up done, <clears throat> and then you've even stepped up into the gym reinforcements elite, where now we own all your admin work, which is just like all the medial admin tasks, spreadsheet updating, you know, handling membership management. Because the standard gym reinforcement service is just follow up. So now that we've taken up follow up and admin work off your plate, where is your time spent on on your business? Uh, my time is spent figuring out ways to. Uh, try profitability. I, I now have time to actually meet with my team, have a focused conversation with them, you yeah. know, whether individually or, or as a team. Um, um, spending time hiring. I mean, that's a, that, that's a, that's a job in, in, in and of itself. Oh, yeah. Because you, when you put all this stuff together, man, I'm telling you, it just it weighs on you and you end up losing traction on a lot of different things. You know, you progress a little by little on all these things rather than, you know, just um, allowing, um, a, you know, allowing a group to take care of a lot of these admin sales and follow up processes where you could actually spend a lot of your energy on, on the important things of growing the business. Yes. You yes. know, and that was something that was really hard for me to do, Dustin. It was for me, <laughs> delegating was really tough because I love to have things done a certain way and I didn't want to relinquish that responsibility because I, you know, a lot of times it wasn't done the way I wanted, but then I also had to accept that, Hey, maybe it not, doesn't need to be done exactly the way I want, you know, but, um, and that was hard. So when I started like, you know, just delegating, um, it made things so much easier and having your, uh, your team on board has been huge for me, huge for me. Love it. Love it. So uh, let's talk about the future, man. Like, what are you trying to achieve here in the next coming year? You know, 2022, what is the goal you've set for your business, whether it's a, a number of members or 
EFT or, uh, you know, anything that you're trying to do? What is your business goals for the upcoming year? Yeah, well, I've already hit my EFT goal, right? Nice. Um, but my, but I'm, I'm really on the heels of hitting my membership goal, which is 300. I'm like, I'm sniffing it. I'm just, nice. I'm a few members away, you know, um, and hopefully by the end of uh, this month, I got, what, three plus more weeks to go. Um, but in 2022, my goal was to hit 400 members and to be up above um, 40,000 EFT. Um, if I get 400 members, I'll be well above, you know, um, 40,000 EFT, well above. Awesome, man. I love it. Well, we're excited to get you there, man. And yeah, just knowing that we're taking all that stuff off your plate. Um, you know, I started GR because I heard so many owners struggling with this hiring admins or them trying to do it themselves. And yeah, you just, you wear so many hats, uh, between HR is a department in a company sales is a department in a company delivering and coaching is a department. And when the owner's doing it all, like you said, they're probably having very small, uh, improvements on each one because you can't, you know, just juggle nine plates and expect to do it all well. Um, yeah, well, well, and don't forget that being the custodian too. I mean, yeah. I have to clean this place. Yep, yep, and uh, and then everything when it comes to servicing members who DM you and you know it's about their membership. They got a freeze. They want to sign up for something. So uh, there's a lot of noise. And so the, if the biggest thing we can do for an owner is reduce the noise, it just allows you to be able to think more clearly. And it, it it's so like unknown for people. They don't even know what they're missing until they have it. And so uh, that's one of my favorite joys to give people is like, wow, they're like, things have gotten quieter. I have more free time. What am I supposed to do? And it's like, this is the gift that comes from hiring gym reinforcement. So I like that. Um, right. Great. What would you say, Kwan to someone who's on the fence, who's thinking about it, they're humming and hawing, like what, any, any words of wisdom that you would say to somebody? And, you know, like, I guess I'm one of those guys that loves to try everything. Um, it's not like I have all this money, but what I've learned is that, um, if you want, um, if you want progress moving in the right direction and, and, and accelerate that, that progress, um, you have to make decisions and you have to be able to like spend the money to do it because what you get in return is much greater. And it, a lot of times that's really hard to like grasp, you know, cause it's, because the returns don't come immediately, right? Sometimes you, you have to wait a month, you know, or two months before the returns come. And that's what I've learned. Um, um, but having had the previous service that did a pretty good job, I thought to myself, okay, if I go with Dustin's team and I'm, get, I'm getting the same thing and I get all these other services on top of that, I get my own dedicated sales person um that will do all the lead follow-up and, and do a great many i i was actually kind of shocked at all the stuff she was willing to do for me and also because of that i actually didn't no longer needed an admin i had to you know um um i had to part ways with my admin who is really amazing really is amazing has a lot of talent has a lot of skills but i no longer needed her anymore i no longer needed the $2,000 a month expense of her because I was spending, well, I, I, you know, I, I was, I had this service now that w a little more than the, uh, the price of the admin I had sales, admin, lead follow-up, you know, and a whole host of other things. And on top of that, I got your wife, Mary Beth, who was so attentive. I couldn't believe it. Like, I don't know what I would have done if she didn't help me with this migration stuff i mean she and and, and I, I thanked her a few times and her response was it's no problem i love this stuff and i'm like oh my god this is the right person because i don't love any of this <laughs> i'm the same way dude so that's why i'm so grateful that i uh, you know i'm married to somebody that likes the opposite stuff of what i like in business because then we kind of level each other out but you know you hear it all the time hire out for stuff you don't love to do there is somebody that literally loves the things that you dislike there's somebody that's excited to wake up and to clean there's someone that's you know excited to wake up and do admin tasks and a lot of times the gym owner is more that visionary they're not the person that likes to get into the, the weeds and do those things 
And uh, so, yeah, she is somebody that loves operation stuff. She loves details and spreadsheets and data. So, yeah, like hire those people to do those things if that's a weakness for yours and uh, spend more of your time on the things that you love and that you bring value to the team with, you know. Um, all right. That's right. One, two. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for giving a inside look at your experience with Jim Reinforcements, man. And let's hit those goals and grow in the upcoming year, man. Let's do it. 440. Come on. 400 clients, 40,000 EFT. We can do it. I know I can do it. All right, man. Appreciate you. Later, Quan.